welcome back guys um it's been a while since we've opened a new product so as you can see today we've got a bunch of new stuff in the background but uh today's video is just on these illusions blasters so not too much to say one of the sort of final retail products of the year and yeah we're going to st stick into a couple blasters today um has been a while we've got then we just came off the back of optic so yeah to have chronicles and illusions coming in uh, around the same time for us is pretty ideal um, so yeah, obviously new rookie class on its way as well with uh, hoops coming out and I'm sure retail will be on its way So plenty of stuff that we'll probably be bringing you in the near future But we've just got these two retail reviews to get through for now. So um, Illusions pretty standard sort of blaster 36 cards and um, you've got sort of a few different um, Exclusive parallels um, the rubies are actually numbered to 125 and then yeah There are autos within the checklist as well, but like most retail that's gonna be pretty hard to hit and then Illusions always has their Starlight Parallels, which I guess is a case hit. Um, they don't really hold too much value unless you're getting the right guys. I think I've pulled a couple in the past. Um, and yeah, nothing too special unless you get the right rookie. Um, like Optic, I'm a big fan of all the inserts and, and Illusions. So that's sort of the main reason I'd be opening this is just to find some some PC stuff, like some Steph Curry rookies. Uh, sorry, not rookies, inserts. Um, and just a bunch of cool stuff that I'll probably just look to trade for for more pc stuff i guess so without further ado we'll get in we're going to open both of these today so we'll start with this one um and we'll see we'll just see if there's a, a superior blaster of the two um i guess you could call it a battle but yeah they're both the same product so we'll get into it it'll be great to pull an auto but i'm not going to hold out too much hope i'm just like most retail i'm just looking for a few cool inserts and maybe a maxi maxi rookie to keep me happy i'll pop that now we'll pop the open box over there. Put the wrappers in there when we're done. Uh, but yeah, comment below if you've opened Illusions. It's sort of somewhat new to the market. It's not too too expired at this point, but we'll just get into it and have a look at what's inside. So the base cards do look quite cool in person, I'll be honest. Um, sort of have quite a dark sort of base color. So I think that looks really nice. Um, Kobe White's our man Aiden's PC, so I'm sure he'll be a fan of that, although it's not a rookie, obviously, but we've got base to kick us off. There's another second-year player. But yeah, I know uh, notoriously illusions is quite hard to tell the parallels. All right, we've got a season highlights, so Anthony Simons winning the slam dunk contest. <laughs> um, actually sort of forgot that it was he was even in the contest, but we'll take that. Um, this dude popped off the other day. It's quite cool. You don't often see a player like that in a in a, in a insert set so we'll take it but yeah notoriously big fan of illusions inserts they often are like you know season highlights or they, they tie really well into the actual league um into the, you know the game you're watching it's not just not just about cards and numbering and whatnot so we'll just sort out our piles real quick before we get into it that insert sort of snuck up on me i'm used to them coming at the end um, of the pack like with optic and there's the wendell carter and a Bucks rookie being Sam Merrill and Jordan Wara, so double Bucks rookies. But yeah, those are the base rookies there. I do like that they use two different pitches. It's not just the same one sort of um, reflected, sort of a subtle thing I like about illusions. That's the back of the base there. All right, so two Bucks rookies to start. We'll just move those around. Cool. Speed things up a bit. We do have two boxes to get through. All right, Dragic. We'll get him out of the way. No big names yet. Looks like... Is that a parallel? I think that's an emerald, if you compare the two. Um, there's a bit of a green tinge on that one. So I believe that's an emerald. It's just an unnumbered parallel. And then more base. Put the parallels there. Base. Jimmy Butler for Aiden. And a rookie from the Raptors, Malachi Flynn. I like that blue Raptors uniform. It's pretty cool. Pop those down. These piles are sort of already disjointing themselves. I'll pop inserts over there. But yeah, just a cool looking product, I guess. Um, just one of those ones where it's it's not Prism, it's not Optic, but um, yeah, still a fun open and get some stuff for your collection. Looks like we may have an acetate card coming up. Mark is smart. So the acetate is the sort of clear plastic card, so we'll go from the back. Oh, there we go. There's some PC love. Paul Reed, B-Ball Paul. Definitely take that for the sixes stash. Pop him there. And then the back, Udoka. So another rookie. So definitely no big rookies yet, but happy with the Paul Reed. Evan Fournier. 
And our insert is a mystique of James Harden. I have a I haven't got the best of luck with inserts in terms of pulling my guys, but that's a really cool looking card. The acetate there. I'm pretty sure you just get one acetate per blaster. So one one of these kind of clear cards. But that is a pretty darn cool looking card. So we'll pop that over there. Only halfway through. Alrighty, Millsap. Mikal. And looks like an Emerald Rookie. I think, Obi Toppin, so probably the best rookie we've got so far, and for it to be an emerald, definitely take it. Pop that in its own little pile. Christian Wood, Karis LeVert, Poku, there we go. More PC love, so there's Alexei Pokusevsky. <laughs> Haven't really been buying much of this dude's stuff, just because he's sort of... He's struggling, he's a very young player, but he's sort of struggling to get his footing in the league, so I'm trying not to put my eggs in his basket too much but we'll definitely take it if take a you know we'll pull if we pull a poku i'll be happy all right there's a Kawhi, probably our best vet so far danilo looks like we've got a pretty cool looking insert coming up or well, instant impacts all right real cool colors going on there instant impact of killian hayes um definitely prefer this design to last year's it's not numbered i assume no nah. But yeah, really cool. Cool colours going on there. Pop that in the rookie pile. Kuzma. There's the second Thunder rookie, so we'll take a, a Theo. Once again, um, not really picking up too much of his stuff at the moment, but definitely take a pull and then Zeke Naji. All right, one pack to go. Where's our rookie pile there? Nah, it's been cool so far. Devontae Graham. Hamadou. And our emerald is Lonzo. Where do we want them? We'll chuck them over there. Pat Bev, Garland second year, and a Desmond Bain rookie, which is not a bad rookie to get. Yeah, big fan of the design. All right, I think that's our first box down. So yeah, let me know your thoughts. We'll see. Love to hear from you. Which blaster you think won? Well, if it's yeah, if you, which blaster you think was better? Going into our second six, I'll probably tidy up the piles before I tuck into these, but we'll get the packs out. Alright, there we go. Packs are there. Alright, let's get into the rest of them. So yeah, I mean, nothing huge. Obi Toppin, uh, Emerald, a few PC guys, and that cool James Harden, so I can't really complain. Marcus Smart and Rondo with a insert there. I'll go from the back. Najee Marshall. Don't think I've got a rookie of him, so that's cool. Anthony Edwards, there we go. First big rookie, I guess you could say. Um, Illusions and uh, rookies don't really hold too much value, but they're definitely cool to have um, and cool to pull, so we'll definitely take ourselves and Anthony Edwards, put him over there. And the rest of the cards, we've got a Valentunas. Where do we want? Oh, I've moved my base now. There we go. And this insert is a Shea. Nice. Okay, that's a very cool card for me. So we've got here a rookie reflection. So the top half is Tyrese Maxey from the Sixers, one of my beloved, probably my biggest PC rookie right now. And the other side is Shea, who's on the Thunder. So that's a very cool card. I think sort of an interesting comparison, but um, yeah, if I knew that card was in the checklist, this would definitely be one that I was hunting. So big fan of that, real big fan. See what I mean though about the Illusions inserts? There's just something about them. They've really nailed it. Um, just for a, I guess for a collector or someone who really wants to open product, it's a cool thing to chase those rookies. Okay, why am I going from the back? We'll get our base done. Looks like we've got similar base to last pack, our uh, last box, sorry. There's a Sixers man, but certainly not a big name. Uh, Danny Green, Emerald. Put him down in the PC pile. Kevin Love, Buddy Heald, and Xavier Tillman is the rookie. I'll actually move, I'll move old Tyrese down here, alright, so yeah, I'll probably just stick to the the two blasters really, um, in terms of my opening plans for illusions, I won't go too hard on it, but um, 
Oh, okay, so we've just had a double up of the season highlights insert. So I was gonna sell the first one, so now I'll definitely sell both. <laughs> but here is the same insert again. Isaiah Roby, second year, so he's a PC guy, but it's not a rookie. Campazo rookie, and Jalen Smith. So I'm hoping we don't get too many double ups. I don't mind the odd double up, but would be keen to see what other season highlights cards are out there. So we are definitely getting the same first couple cards in both of these boxes. And is that an emerald? Yep, emerald Jalen Brunson. Nothing too special there. Uh, LeBron, take that. Pretty cool base card. The King, definitely take that. Uh, pop that, uh, put him here. And then RJ Barrett, and our rookie is Precious Achua. Oink. I'm losing track of my piles. All right, two packs to go in this video. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Let us know, I don't know, general thoughts on illusions or just any sort of product that's not part of the big four or five, I guess. Um, I'm a fan of them. Give me more products, I can't really complain. There's a Luca base card, so that's pretty cool. A Jar base card is equally as cool. Now, it looks like, okay, we have another Mystique. Hopefully it's not James Harden, just for the sake of getting a bit of variety. All right, cool, it's not. Kawhi Leonard Mystique, so that's pretty cool. Um, I was keen to see like a different acetate, but I guess one from the same set isn't a big deal. Let's have a look at them both side by side, if I can carefully. There's our two Mystiques. So I believe the coloring on the acetates just varies based on what product. So I think this is technically an emerald. It's not numbered or anything, but I believe that's how, how illusion sort of works. All right, who we got? Canter. And we've got two rookies in this pack. Some packs have got two, some have got one. A Kongwu and a Koro. So a couple of solid rookies. Last pack here. I keep getting my hand stuck in the box. Trey Young. Bradley Beal. Oh, I think. Yeah, so decent pull there. That's an Emerald Lamello. So outside of the numbered cards, it's probably one of the better pulls you can hit in terms of a retail. So... I was going to say we hadn't pulled the Lamello ball, but we've just pulled the Emerald. So very subtle colouring, but sort of a colour match, I guess. So that's a that's a tidy pull. We'll definitely put that in a sleeve and a top loader very shortly. Colin Sexton, Shake Milton, who doesn't get a lot of love in the card game. So we'll take that for the PC. And Devin Dotson to finish. So I'm just going to sleeve up that Lamello. Sort of funny, I wasn't even thinking about Lamello. I was sort of just along the lines of looking for PC cards and, and inserts, so it sort of wasn't even keeping my eye out for him, but um, definitely a fan of that. Snag myself a toppy. You could say that's a successful um, venture into a product when you get a parallel of the top rookie of the class, so we'll definitely take it. Um, yeah, what a way to finish. So we will do a bit of a tidy up and we'll do a quick recap as usual and then we'll move on to the next video. Cheers. All right, just back for a quick recap. So sort of sorted out our piles a little bit here. So I guess I'll run through the base rookies of not as much note. So I won't bother reading them out. But yeah, effectively got one or two rookies per pack um, outside of like the inserts and the parallels. So it's a pretty cool set. I definitely like, like I said earlier, I liked that there's two different um, pitches and often the two, the two uniforms too, which I just think is a subtle sort of thing that they do that I quite like. So there's a bunch of those guys there. So they'll just go into my sort of collection in terms of holding on to rookies. Um, we'll move on to sort of my specific little PC stash, I guess. So just held on to the Shake Milton because, yeah, he doesn't have many cards. There's an Emerald Danny Green for the Sixers stash as well. And then getting into some rookies, got the Poku base and the Theo Maladon. Oh my gosh, Theo Maladon base um, there. So the two Thunder Men just there. Plus a Paul Reed rookie, who once again doesn't have a lot of cards, so that's cool. And this Maxi insert, so a big fan of this once again. Like the colours, everything about it. It has quite a premium feel to it, the um, Illusions insert. So as you can see, like the texture there. Um, really cool. Big fan of that. Um, so that was the little PC stash. Um, sort of more notable uh, rookie uh, side of things. Just this instant impact, Killian Hayes. So once again, really cool looking card. Um, Big fan of that. Then we've just pulled aside the Desmond Bain, the Anthony Edwards, and the Emerald Obi Toppin. 
And obviously, in terms of uh, the rookie side of things, we've got this Lamello Ball Emerald. So, real, real big fan of that. I'm trying to think here. It, you can also notice, um, in regards to the parallels, the foil around the name and stuff on the on the emerald is just like silver, whereas on the base it's gold. It's another thing I've just noticed. So, real cool. Pop him back over there. Um, talking to a mate just earlier, um, who's part of the channel as well. I. Don't know what a ballpark figure on that would be, but I know, like I said earlier, Illusions rookies don't hold huge value, but um, just a cool card to have. Um, yeah, I don't specifically collect Lamello, but I'll probably just hold on to that one. And then finally, just hard to pick up off the surface, the veterans or inserts of note. Um, we have LeBron, uh, the Anthony Simons dunk comp season highlights, Luca base, Jar base, which I always hold on to, and then two acetate cards, so we had the Kawhi and the Harden. So, yeah, overall, big fan of the product. I'm not going to go out hunting more. Um, got it at a decent price, but just happy to open a couple and, and add a few cool cards to the stash, really. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, stay tuned. We'll have a Chronicles video very soon as well, and, yeah, we'll see you next time.